everyone, iOS 15.3 has officially came out for the iPhone 7s and 7 Pluses, so let's go and take a look at it on the 7 Plus right here. Now this update was a pretty big size update, but as always if you want to go and update, make your way over to your settings, click general, click software update, and you will be able to update your device this way. Now this update was a pretty big size update coming from pretty much all my iPhones, but it installed pretty well which was really cool. And this was actually the first iPhone that actually rebooted to install it. Now this one was 745.9 megabytes, so a bigger size update for sure. You can see no features for the most part that were added. It said iOS 15.3 includes bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone and recommended for all users. Now what is those specific updates or what are those specific updates? Well Safari, believe it or not, actually had a little bit of a data leak issue. I'm not really too sure. I've been hearing about it for the last couple of days, but apparently there was an issue within Safari for your iPhone where I think some developers or some people could be able to access your data on your iPhone via Safari. Again, I'm not 100% too sure how that even happened, but that has now been patched with this update. So that's a pretty big reason to go and install iOS 15.3, but I don't know if that's for all versions of iOS or if that's just like the previous version of iOS. I'm curious if this was an issue with previous versions, then Apple would have pushed out an update for iOS 12 as well, and they still haven't done it yet. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Other than that though, I did just install it. So we'll have to give it a couple days to see, you know, how much smoother it is and the performance and all that crazy stuff. But from what I'm seeing, it still seems to be about the same. So there's not really that big of an issue there. However, the bigger problem, in my opinion, was pretty much with the instability of, you know, updates from Apple. So now that they're kind of pushing out some updates, you know, more faster, more frequently, I'm curious to see what the future of iOS holds. Now, the question is, should you install iOS 15.3 on your iPhone 7 Plus? I'm going to tell you, I think if you're on iOS 15, it's a no-brainer, as I mentioned before. It truly, so that was a bug right there. We've never seen that bug before. <laughs> If you're on iOS 15, I would recommend installing it, but there are still some random bugs like that that just keep happening with some of these devices, so I don't even know how that happened. But ultimately, if you're on 15, I would recommend going to 15.3, but if you're on 14.8 or 14.8.1, like I mentioned before, it may make some sense to still stay there, you know? It's not really going to hurt you to stay there unless the Safari issue was affected, you know, affecting those iPhone versions as well. We don't really know for 100% fact if that was the case, but I guess I'll keep you guys updated on how that happens, but so far it seems pretty smooth. There was that one little glitch there, which is probably not a good start, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you know after a little bit of time. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.